Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. The first two episodes of the new Hawkeye series dropped on Disney Plus the other day. And uh, it hasn't been reviewed particularly well so far. But uh, I found myself in a position recently where I can't bring myself to review Discovery. I just can't do it. I just cannot do it. Somebody else is, is going to have to take that weight because uh, I just can't. Uh, but of course, if I pass on something, I have to pick something else up. And so I thought, oh, God, for all my sins, I would take Hawkeye. And having now watched the first couple of episodes, are the review, do I feel, because this is just my own humble opinion, do I feel that the current reviews for the show are justified? Kind of like a 5 out of 10, you know, middling, not so good. Uh, the short answer would be absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, this show is really not good. Um, it has moments... Uh, it definitely has moments that I, I like, but for the most part, structurally, the way that they tell the story, uh, it's not good. So kind of let's let's go through. I'm going to mix both of them in to, to essentially one episode because uh, nothing really happens at all. R nothing really happens at all. Uh, we start off with a, a little young uh 20 uh, 12 13 year old uh kate bishop in 2012 as the uh chitari uh are attacking new york and her she's rich she lives in manhattan in a beautiful uh place in manhattan with her parents and her father is killed during the uh, attack on new york gotta kill those fathers off quickly you know what i mean and uh, then we get a credit sequence because this is the Kate Bishop show. This isn't the Clint Barton show. This is really the Kate Bishop show, uh, which I'll get into in a moment. Then they go through the opening credits, which is a montage of animations, uh, basic animations, by the way, where over the course of the next, you know, eight, nine years, Kate Bishop is training to be the best archer because she sees Hawkeye during the uh, attack and she's like, oh, he's my favorite uh, Avenger. We see her becoming the bestest in uh, martial arts, in uh, fencing, uh, archery, obviously. And uh, I just thought to myself, I thought, oh, this is so good. I am being very sarcastic, by the way. This is so good. Uh, in the first couple of minutes of the series, uh, the show has managed to tell us that Kate is all totally trained up. She's all totally trained up. You know, she's great at uh, archery. She's great at uh, martial arts. She's great at fencing. So you don't have to worry about any journey for her in that regard. Now, some of you are going to say, I know, but as she gets she gets hit around the place in this. Uh, yeah, and there's there's uh, one consequence. Little cut, a little cut over her eye. Uh, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that later on. Uh, so it, it, we see this this bit at the beginning where, where she fires the arrow uh, to hit the clock tower. It's not a mistake. She did it. She did it how she wanted to do it, which was to fire the arrow to hit the pendulum that was going to hit the bell. But the thing is, because it was so old and everything was so decrepit, the sound vibrations caused it all to crumble. So she didn't muck it up in regards to uh, she failed to hit her target. She hit her target. It was just age uh, that made that clock tower crumble. Uh, Clint is uh he goes to the um avengers the musical and this is what frustrated me because um they introduce a couple of interesting aspects here first of all clint's essentially deaf has to wear a hearing aid he's, he's essentially deaf um and later on uh, 
she, Kate Bishop asks, why do you wear a hearing aid? And then it just does like a montage of all the explosions and uh, smashing through things that Clint did when he was a, an Avenger. Uh, and obviously that had its toll on his body. And I, I liked that. I thought that was good. Uh, I thought it was actually quite interesting that um, that he did have like a, a, a permanent um, cost uh, to everything that he'd done. And he, he and his sister, well, he and his sister, he and his daughter, sorry, uh, were starting to learn sign because he's, he's eventually going to go completely deaf. Um, so I did enjoy that. And there was a, another aspect that they touched on, which was when he's watching the musical, which was fucking cringe. Uh, I didn't find it funny at all. I just found it fucking absolute current day Marvel cringe of the highest order. And when he saw Black Widow, uh, he, he kind of... You know, the the, 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 the the music stopped. It, it, it went sort of silent and you could kind of feel that he was, you know, he was obviously thinking back to um, to her death and the fact that she's no longer here. And uh, a little, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a little bit of PTSD, but I thought, oh, that's that's a really interesting aspect that they could play on. No. no okay no that's that's all that's all uh done with uh we'll just have a little bit of that and then that's over um so two two interesting aspects uh i thought that they could have gone with with clint but i think they they didn't um and if they just wanted to make a kate bishop series just call it kate bishop hawkeye just call it kate bishop hawkeye and be her adventure instead of trying to trick people into thinking hawkeye Clint Barton, we're going to get an, you know, a Clint Barton adventure because that's not what we're getting. Just, just be honest. Just be, you know, look, we're used to being disappointed nowadays. Just go ahead. So nothing massively happens. Uh, Kate goes to some society event with her mum. Her mum's found a new man who she's got engaged to, who is clearly a little bit nefarious. Uh, Simon Callow makes uh, a nice appearance. He's a great British, uh, I think Scottish technically, uh, actor. And um, he gets killed, gets stabbed in his apartment, most likely by uh, Kate Bishop Mum's fiance. That's what we think at the minute anyway. But um, she she thinks, you think that Simon Callow's the, the dodgy guy. So she follows him down to... Uh, in this societal event, she follows him down into like the basement and they're having like a a black market auction down there. You know, naughty stuff for sale. Uh, display at home only. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Don't know, don't know where this came from. And they had uh, up for auction Ronin from Endgame, Ronin's retractable sword and also the Ronin costume. Some thugs burst in to steal... I think it's a watch and uh and obviously other stuff as well but the watch was the priority Kate steals the Ronin costume and then <laughs> again you know we've seen it so many times now just uh with relative ease seems to fight off the uh the 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 200 you know 200 pound men compared to the 120 pound uh kate bishop because she's the best you know she's already been trained remember we saw it at the beginning in the montage so she, she you know she doesn't take too much of a, a beating herself like i said she only ends up with a a tiny little scratch on her head and uh she she leaves and she uh, there's a blind uh, well a one-eyed dog that took something so she chased the dog down and then the dog ran into the street, so she jumped into the street to save the dog. Hey, look, stop me if you're fucking bored yet, because I was just like, what is going on? <laughs> Nothing's going, you know, nothing of interest is really happening. Uh, Clint sees on the TV uh, the image of her. He's, he leaves his uh, kitties, because it's him and his kitties, 
uh, in New York for a bit of time together while mum's at home. And um, he goes out and then she gets... Uh, Kate Bishop gets blocked in by the... I think they're called the tracksuit gang. And they wear tracksuits. And the joke is... That's a bit on the nose. Don't ask. Don't ask. This, this, yeah, the writing in this wasn't wasn't good. And so Kate Bishop uh, fights a few of them. Um, gets into a car, so she doesn't take much of a doesn't take much of a pounding at all, if any, for that fight. And then Clint jumps into the fight, kicks them all in, uh, pulls Kate out of the car, and then pulls her mask down is just like what? you're a f kid and that's where the first episode finishes after she's gone after she's gone and found the body of um uh, simon callow in his apartment like i said who who so not really that much happened and what did happen i didn't find particularly exciting the the uh the tracksuit gang were just like okay whatever so the, so the next episode is just clint uh, they the the tracksuit gang go to well clint goes to kate's apartment tells her to take off the ronin costume give it to him uh obviously not in front of him uh we find out kate's 22 so she goes upstairs to to change and then she comes back down gives him the ronin costume and then that he's just about to leave and he's like, nobody tracked you. Nobody can link you to this. All this kind of stuff. And he's like, he's actually doing some, some good sort of, you know, trying to make sure that she is safe when he goes and she's not going to be subject to repercussions. And she's like, no, it's all fine. It's all good. And then she went, oh yeah, apart from the fact that I've got my name uh, down on the uh, the doorbell downstairs, so they know where I am. So anyway, the the tracksuit gang appear outside Kate's house, going, get Bishop. Because we like a uh, Russian tracksuit gang, yeah? It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Uh, and they start Molotov cocktailing her apartment. And there's a little bit of a fight. And then uh, they have to vacate the apartment before it gets burnt down. Uh, but they leave the Ronin costume inside. He can't get to it. So later on, Jeremy Renner dumps Kate off at her auntie's house in new york but her auntie's not there she's elsewhere for the winter and he goes back to the apartment to to recover the costume why who cares but the costume was stolen by one of the firefighters oh, i can't believe i'm gonna say this that was that's in a new york city LARPing group. Live action role playing group. Do do fire do firemen normally steal from apartments that they put the fires out at? This one did. By the way, no repercussions when he goes gets it back. So Hawkeye has to go Clint Barton, this is, has to go to um this fucking LARPing event in Central Park, I imagine. And it's just, I'm like, oh my God, I'm reading a Marvel comic. I felt like I was reading a Marvel comic. It was just stupid and infantile and there's no stakes and Kate doesn't seem to give a fuck and nobody seems to give a fuck and nobody seems to be scared or nobody seems to be anxious or there's no plot going on. So he, he, he goes to the guy and he does this stupid fight with the guy to get his costume back. And the guy's like, can I beat you in combat for it? Because you're a hero. You get to be a hero every day. I don't. So be really cool. Oh, who gives a fuck? You're a fireman. For fuck's sake. You get to be a hero plenty, sunshine. Jesus. So he gets the costume back. Kate's mucking about with her, her mum and her her, her mum's fiance she, who she's suspicious of then they arrange to have a, a meal kate her mum and her her mum's fiance at their house that night he cooks it it's lovely 
he kind of says some you know stuff which which you know you can easily read into is just like i'm trying to do uh a stepfather role for you and then she's like hey let's fence so they fence and she beats him relatively easily and she keeps saying you'll make you're letting me win you're letting me win and then uh, he's like no 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 you're just good and uh, you know state champion twice over remember and uh then she she wins three times in a row and she's like you're you're faking it i can tell you're faking it and he's like no you're just good and he takes his you know face covering off and uh she goes to stab him in the face with her foil and he just you know like whacks it away and knocks her foil on its tip and it's spinning around showing that he's like he's actually really good and she's like there you see i've proved that you're a liar i've proved that you're a liar and then uh he offers her a butterscotch sweet candy, if you will. And when Kate went to uh, Simon Callow's apartment in the first episode and found him dead, he had a tray of the exact same butterscotch sweets. Because this show is written by a fucking moron. And uh, so she's like, oh, I've got to go. Uh, see you. And then clint calls his wife up and he's just like look i'm gonna be i'm not gonna be able to get on tonight's flight i'm probably gonna have to be a day longer here i gotta sort out the tracksuit gang now that i got the suit back and i'm thinking why and then the only reason i can think of was to to for him to try and take the heat off kate but uh kate tracks him because somebody answers his phone when she calls him up and they're just like clint barton isn't here and so she's like she tracks her phone because her mum her mum by the way runs a security company so she's got some tricks on her phone and she, clint's like tied up but gets out of his bonds easily because he just wants to talk to the owner of the gang to try and smooth it out with kate bishop about kate and then kate comes smashing in and then she just falls on the floor. So they just tie them both up again. And then, of course, the gang's run by a woman because it's 2021. And the woman looks like she's like 25 years old. Uh, yeah, don't think so. But never mind. It's 2021. We just have to fucking accept these things and move on. And they were just like, hey, boss, we found both of them. Credits. End of episode two. Nothing is fucking happening. Nothing is happening in the show. This doesn't seem to be any stakes. No, none of the characters really seem to give a shit about what's going on. Clint certainly doesn't. He don't give two fucks what's going on. Uh, Kate is just like mad because her, uh, her mum is going to get remarried. Okay. And then she thinks that he's the one responsible for killing Simon Callow. Okay. But that's like dealt with in a, in a, you know, boom. So it's just like, it was so boring getting through these two episodes with just next to nothing going on. And characters that just don't seem to care. Kate Bishop's already trained up to the max. <sighs> Bored. Bored, senseless. And the little, the couple of little things... The couple of little things which um, I think they should have focused on in the show. But there again, if they focused on those things, it would be more of a, a Clint Barton Hawkeye show. And they want this to be a Kate Bishop Hawkeye show. So, fuck you, I guess. I don't know. Uh, a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. And... Um, that's about it so far it could get better who knows but the first two episodes are, are just vanilla as fuck hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on so i forgot what to do then follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links are in the description box down below i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now